Okay, let's factor uh, this sum of two cubes. This guy right here. It's known as the this this thing is known as a sum of two cubes. And the reason why is because I can rewrite this like such. So hopefully you can recognize when a number has been cubed. Now let's go ahead and factor this. We have a formula that goes like this. The formula looks like a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared and that always equals a cubed plus b cubed. So if we're given a cubed x cubed plus 5 cubed we should be able to factor it and get back to that. So let's try it. And let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So we're going to take our, uh, let's see. First of all, I believe my A is equal to X. And my B is equal to 5. So we're going to just go ahead and plug them in this formula. We'll take plug these guys in here and here. So let's see how that works. So we're going to say, okay, so it must be X plus 5 times uh, x squared, a squared. Um, let's go ahead and show you the laser pointer. So uh, we take the a, uh, which is x, and we put it in here and we square it, so that gets us this. So then we go minus uh, a times b, which gets us 5 times x, and then plus 5, uh, b squared, plus b squared. In this case, it's 5 squared. That's 25. So it turns out those are the factors of x cubed plus 25. And we'll go ahead and we'll box that. And that is our final answer. If we are asked to factor x cubed plus 125, then guess what? The factors are these right here. Now, you might ask yourself the question, well, what about um, that trinomial? Is it possible that I could factor some more? Um, what about this guy right here? What about this part? Why can't we factor that? Well, you can try it, um, but you'll see that it cannot be factored. It, it, actually, if you want to get the, um, if you want to break this up and find the factors, you can use the quadratic formula. Remember this guy? X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2a that's how you get that is how you can get the factors for this guy if need be but for now we're not going to we're just going to stick with these factors here we'd like to factor a difference of two cubes and uh, uh, if you want to see the two cubes it looks like this 64 is 4 cubed there's a formula that allows us to factor this, and it looks like this. A uh, minus B times A squared uh, plus AB plus B squared. Now in our case, um, our A is equal to X, and our B is equal to 4. Um, let's take a look, just make sure that you can see that. Um, check it out, here's our A. And here's our B. In other words, if uh, if we believe that uh, that this equals a cubed minus b cubed, then uh, it must be true that uh, that this guy must be our a, and this guy here must be our b. So the good news is, is factoring goes quick and easy. Um, we just go like this. Oh, thank you. 
So, if uh, x equal, if a equals x uh, and b equals 4, <clears throat> then I should be able to do this, x minus 4, that's the same as a minus b, um, times uh, a squared, which is x, x squared, plus a times b, which is 4 times x, not negative 4 times x, just 4 times, a, a is 4, I'm sorry, our b is 4, um, and then plus <clears throat> b squared, which is 16, and that's it. That's the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and box it. These are the factors for uh, this difference of two cubes. Actually, we started with this guy here. And uh, <clears throat> again, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, some of you might be wondering, well, geez, can I factor this some more? Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but if you want to do that, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula and uh, do something like this. And when you do, you will get complex, uh, <clears throat> you, you'll, you'll uh, get imaginary numbers, which is okay, but um, we're going to stop right here for now. Um, but if you did need to factor that, you would have to use, you couldn't factor it, you have to use quadratic formula.